Okay, okay, so there are moments in life that really do make make you feel like a winner, like a perfect parallel parking in the most awkward spot in the CBD, huh? How about that one? Yeah. Scoring the winning goal at a soccer match or getting a promotion at work. Yes, please. We can all call these gold moments, and athletes LJ and Yvette Van Sale are looking to create some of their own at the Olympics in Rio. Do you need Just a promotion? Say. Did you? Yes, <laughs> Rio 2016 Olympics are fast approaching and some of our best athletes are hard at work in preparation to make sure they bring us some gold moments. But before the event, we catch up with them in their preparation to see how they're faring before the going gets tough. Marathon runner Yvette Van Sale and her husband LJ, who is a record holder in hurdles, are embarking on a memorable journey in their married and professional lives to the Olympics in Rio. It's your third Olympics now. What would you say are some of your biggest challenges going into the Rio 2016 Olympics? Well, the previous Olympics in 2012, uh, the, whole, the whole year, season, I, I couldn't get into shape. Um, this year, I'm in much better shape. I think the challenge this season is just to, to stay calm and to take every round by round and make sure I get into that final. And what's your preparation been like so far? My training is going very well. Uh, a few weeks ago, I ran my fastest time in five years. 400 hurdles is everything about rhythm and pacing, so I'm focusing a lot of, on it now. And once the Olympics are done and dusted, what are you looking forward to after that? When the Olympics is done in August, we still got two Diamond Leagues le left, uh, Brussels and also Paris, and uh, I hope you get invitations for that. And then have a, uh, a month or two rest and then prepare for next season. Yvette famously ran the Two Oceans Marathon 16 weeks pregnant, and the investment in her post-pregnancy training paid off when she finished the London Marathon in April in 15th place. Yvette, you're currently working towards the 2016 Rio Olympics, but what have been your greatest achievements in your career overall? Since 2012, the first time I've qualified for Olympic Games, that's actually where my career started. So um, this time around, second time qualifying, it's been a real amazing and real achievement because last year I became a mom, so it's been, I've been a race against time to qualify for this Olympics. It must also be quite inspiring to have a partner who's also a runner. What's it like to be married to an athlete? Yes, yeah, so it definitely helps having an athlete as a husband as well. He understands we have to have a lot of sleep, we have to eat certain stuff, and sometimes when you just have a bad race, you just want to be left alone. So he understands all of it, and it just helps. You don't need to explain anything to him. It will be our second time that we will, can go to the Olympic Games, so we're really looking forward to this one. Having experienced so much together on and off the track, LJ and Yvette share what they feel have been their gold moments. I think both of us, uh, when we qualified for the 2012 Olympic Games, that was quite a moment to cherish together. That was our first Olympic Games together and then we were engaged. We can now go again to the second Olympic Games together now as a married couple and as parents. Definitely one of my two gold moments off the track is uh, to get married to Yvette. Uh, end of 2012, uh, and also when our little son Louis was born, uh, end of last year, on the track uh, when I broke the SA record that stood for 10 years on this uh, athletic stadium. And uh, actually every time when I have the opportunity to represent uh, my country, uh, this will be my third Olympic Games, it's definitely every time is a gold moment for me. So whether you bake the perfect cake or scored the winning goal, we want to hear about your everyday victories. So share those moments with the hashtag That's Gold at Expresso Show so we can celebrate with you. And to all our athletes going to Rio 2016, Expresso salutes you. Celebrating everyday gold moments. That's right. Now, last week we asked you to share your gold moments using the hashtag That's Gold on Twitter and Facebook. And we have a winner. We want to say a big congratulations to Ignatius Mokwela on his gold moment. Of course, that is getting a new job. I think that deserves a Yes. Now, that is indeed gold. And if you want to win an awesome Coca-Cola Olympics hamper like Ignatius, share your gold moment with us on Twitter and Facebook and use the hashtag that's gold. Mm -hmm. Now, I know Ilana's been doing a, lo a lot of uh, running, uh, but why am I talking right now? <laughs> <laughs>